coal is something that India has lots of. Coal is the biggest energy resource that the country has. For decades, coal gave energy to India's economic growth. Coal energized India. Coal has be, therefore been a great friend. But now, it is time to say goodbye to that friend. Coal is a big emitter of carbon dioxide. And as we all know, carbon dioxide emissions threaten the very existence, the very continuance of the existence of humankind. A time comes in our lives when we have to give up something that has been very dear to us, very valuable to us. The great poet Kalidasa once put it in one of his works, Anguli Uragachata, it's like a finger that needs to be amputated because it has been bitten by a venomous snake. Coal is like that today. In this video, we will talk about how India is not only slowly giving up coal-based power, but we will also look at one option of uh, still keeping that coal, somehow making use of it. In the five-year period between 2012-13 and 2016-17, India built 91,730 megawatts of thermal power, which is almost entirely coal. Remember this figure, 91,730. In the seven-year period between now, that is 2023-24 and 2029-30, India plans to build 27,000 megawatts. So here is the contrast. 91,000 something in five years between 2012 and 2016 and 27,000 in the seven years between now and 2030. What does it tell you? The message that comes across loud and clear is that coal power is on the way out. Now, the question is, why is coal on the way out? Why are we not putting up enough coal projects? The answer is a combination of two factors. One, putting up coal-fired power plants is becoming very costly due to a number of reasons, such as rise in input prices like steel and also the difficulties in raising finances for coal power projects. In fact, globally, lots of financiers have said they will not fund any coal power project. So, if you want to raise money for, for, for uh, putting up a coal power plant, uh, it's going to be very costly and it adds to the overall cost. A recent report of the Ministry of Power says that going forward, the per megawatt cost of coal power plant would work out to 8.34 crores per megawatt. Only about 5-6 years back, it used to take not more than 5 crores, 5.5 five crores to set up a coal-fired power plant. Now it is 8.34 crores. And even that would be a very conservative estimate because some of the recent coal plants that are being built have seen a sharp increase in costs. For example, the 1320 megawatt bar supercritical thermal power project of NTPC has ended up with a cost of about 16.51 crore per megawatt. Yet another example, the 800 megawatt Sri Damodaram Sanjeevaya thermal power project in Andhra Pradesh will cost about 10.94 crores. So these are much, much cost higher than the estimated cost of 8.34 crores that the Ministry of Power report assumed. So the cost of coal-based power projects have gone up very sharply and due to various reasons are only set to rise. Mind you, these coal-based power plants need to be fed coal day in and day out, unlike wind, solar, hydro or even nuclear, which have very little fuel costs. With all these things, the cost per kilowatt hour, that is one unit of electricity from a coal-based power plant, will settle down to not less than rupees 6.5 6 a kilowatt hour. It could even go beyond that. It could be something like 7 rupees also. Very coal power is turning out to be very expensive. In contrast, the cost of renewable energy plus storage is coming down. We all know that the prices of wind and solar have come down to something like 2 rupees 80 paise, 2 rupees 90 paise a kilowatt hour. Of course, due to a number of reasons which we will discuss in another video, uh, this is said to rise to about 3 rupees 20, 3 rupees 30 paise, but it's still very cheap compared with coal. The problem with renewable energy has been that, uh, that you know, wind and solar plants do not supply a steady stream of electricity. 
it's called the intermittency issue. But this intermittency issue can be tackled by bringing in storage, which could be batteries or some other system like pumped hydro storage. The electricity that is supplied out of the storage system is steady and therefore you have effectively tackled the intermittency problem. Until recently, the cost of renewable energy plus storage used to be very high. But now, by all accounts, it is coming down. To give you an illustration, the energy company Greenco has said that it has contracted to supply electricity from its upcoming pumped hydro facility. This pumped hydro facility is coming up near uh, Karnool in Andhra Pradesh. This company has contracted to sell electricity for 4 rupees 23 paise a kilowatt hour. Now contrast it with the coal price of 7 rupees or so. If the prices of clean, green, renewable energy plus storage comes to sub 5 rupees, the under 5 rupees level with a downward bias and in contrast the prices of dirty carbon dioxide emitting coal power go to more than 6 rupees 50 paise and with an upward bias, who will buy coal power? Who will put up coal based power projects? That is why we are already seeing a sharp decline in annual new coal fired power projects in India. India set up 8,710 megawatts of coal based power projects in 2017 18. 2017 18, 8,700 megawatts. And last year, it set up only 4,485. So, clearly, coal is on the way out. Rightly so, because we cannot be burning coal and adding to the carbon dioxide load to the atmosphere, no matter how much of a friend coal has been to us. Remember Kalidasa's words, anguli uragachata, like a finger bitten by a snake, it has to be amputated. Before I conclude, I said a little earlier that I will like to mention one little option that India has, that India still has to keep the coal and still make use of it without really mucking up the atmosphere. And that option is coal gasification. There are ways to convert coal to coal gas. Coal gas can be used for multiple purposes including power generation. However, the technology for making coal gas from coal is yet to fully mature. We will talk more about coal gasification technologies in more detail in another video. But for now, it looks like goodbye coal. We are reaching the end of coal. We will miss coal, but it cannot be helped. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. For more videos on India's green transition journey, please do subscribe. Thank you.